Realtors, one of the most impactful things you can do for your business is attend valuable, reputable events with other agents. We're not talking about the agent happy hours where you're going there, it's just a bunch of agents and, yo, know, those are valuable. You get some deals done, have conversations, see what's going on, kind of get the latest scoop of the market, etc. But what I'm talking about is pulling yourself out of where you are to a completely different market and being around top tier agents or at least agents that have a similar top tier mentality as you. Reason being, you'll learn so much, whether it's a mastermind or conferences. So Inman is in Vegas next week. Um, I'll actually be there with a couple partners. And as much as, you know, as much training as we've done, as much leadership as we've had from working with agents, helping agents be successful, et cetera, I go and I am a student because, you know, there's a lot going, there's still a lot going on in the industry. And I want to know what other people are doing. I wonder what other agents are doing, other top producers. I want to know what people are doing that I don't want to do. And I want to keep a, a pulse on what's going on. Plus, there's a lot of really cool people we met. Did a uh, New York a couple years ago, met some great folks. Uh, you never know who you're going to run into. Uh, we're going to do a kickback. So if you happen to be in Vegas next week, um, we're going to do a kickback one of the days. Kickback happy hour. Connect with our clients, connect with our people, and um, DM me for information on that. But you want to go to these type of events where you can gain value. Go with an open mind, and between the connections that you'll make and the information that you'll gain, that gives you the advantage over the average agent who just sits in their market and sits at home and just puts their head down and just does what they're doing locally. So they have their own little sphere. Same reason I highly encourage travel. If you notice someone is well-traveled versus someone has never left their hometown, there's a totally different perspective. There's a lot different, actually less bias, et cetera. So when you go, you know, we can go to Inman, New York, which I'm in Florida, but it's East Coasters go there. The West Coasters usually go over to uh, Vegas. They had one in Miami. I didn't make that one. But going to these top tier events, and even if it's out of your comfort zone, going to these events to meet new people, see what the movers or shakers are doing, see what other folks are doing. I'm very interested in how other agents are going to leverage and show their value for these buyer brokerage agreements and seeing what they're going to talk about there, because that's going to be a big theme. So I'm um, in no way afraid. I'm just interested in what other people are doing, because then what we do is when I, when I, when I go to events or Nate and I go to events, we bring that knowledge back to our people. So we'll drop content on that. We'll do podcasts on that. Uh, speaking of which, the podcast is being launched next month. We've got a couple episodes already in the, um, in the pipeline, ready to go. But we'll bring that content and information back that's relevant. So we'll curate it and share that with our audience. Uh, but more importantly, we'll go in depth with our tribe, with our clients, folks that have trusted us to help them. Now, along with events, we just hosted an event last week. Best event yet, hands down. Everything was amazing. Uh, and that was a new construction lead generation workshop. So we will be doing another one in August, the third, second or third week of August. I'm sorry, second or third week of October. We're going to do these quarterly. Um, great event. Learned a lot. We learned a lot. Clients learned a lot. Six week cohort. So we got about another four weeks to get them up and running and tracking and moving. Then we'll open the next cohort. There will only be 15, maybe 20 spots. Um, but those events are even more amazing when you're at an intimate event because you get to meet, like we get to meet you and hang out, but you also get to meet other like minded agents. And the best way that I can teach you what I know and we can teach you what we know is by being in the same room, having face to face conversation and showing you exactly what to do. A lot of agents are like, oh, I don't know. Now, our, our workshop, this one specifically that we just ended is a little different because it's, it's an actual it's not an event. It's a workshop. It's bring your computer. We are setting everything up. We accomplished that. There's a couple small things we need to update. So those type of events are great. Like 
not many people, I don't think anybody does events like we do. Not many people do events like that. But we also do have events we'll be having down the line. So if you ever see, of course, I'm biased. You should come to our events because they're freaking awesome and nobody does events like us. Um, and most agents will come in and like, wow, this is different. Like I've, I'm around really cool agents that aren't uh, jerks and they're not snobby and they're sharing with me and they're like willing to talk to me, whether they're top producing agent or whether it's a brand new agent, everybody's on the same page. You don't get a lot of that when you go to those larger events. Like I'm very sure next week there'll be conversations that I'll abruptly end because you're a jerk and you don't want to have conversations where I'm like, cool, this is me. That was another thing I got. Attendees were like, wow, you're the same person in person as you are online. Uh, yeah, you don't always get that, but that's just our events. Nonetheless, go to events, whether it's our events or whether it's other events. I highly encourage you to go to events where, of course, you want to go to an event uh, that makes sense for you. But I'd encourage you to travel to an event, not just the local ones. Get out of your comfort zone. Get out of your financial comfort zone. Take the leap, go to events outside of your state where you have to go stay there for a couple of days and you're totally in a new environment. The growth that you will experience from that is unprecedented and amazing. So what my goal is when I go to an event, I tally up how much it costs me to go. And I'm not tallying up how much it costs me to get there. It's like, oh my God, like I got to put this in the budget. That's not the reason I do that. Of course, you know, we'll do that expenses. The reason I do that is I put that dollar amount and I say, okay, within four months to six months, whatever I invested, I need to double that. So this trip, let's say this trip cost me a thousand dollars, which costs well more than that. But okay, well then four to six months, I need to turn that thousand dollars that I invested to come here. I need to pull enough information out for it to make me five. So now the event is free. And that's also, if it's going to be something that you're investing in yourself with, you want to look at, you want to go in with intention. My goal is to learn this and get this here and make back two to five X, whatever it costs you to go. Pulling out information, pulling out actionable steps. And that's the thing too. When you leave, don't take a bunch of notes. Find one to three things or take a bunch of notes, but out of that, pull one to three things that you're going to implement immediately. So I actually have another strategy. I'll talk about that later. Um, that is something I found. Uh, was it Kenny Anderson? I think he's a ball player. I heard him talk about that. I've done it was like, whoa, this is crazy. But I'll leave that for you guys later so we don't go over. But yes, definitely attend events. You will get so much growth. And if you can attend events that are stretch where instead of making excuses that I have to do this or I don't have this money or this, that, instead of making those excuses, how can I get to that event that is six months down the line and across the country and stay for three or four days? Because here's the other thing too. And here's, here's the, uh, this is something a lot of people don't think about. If someone has to fly, drive, whatever to a place and there's a price tag to go, to say it's $2,000 just to be there. And it's a three day event. So that's $2,000. Then you got to get a hotel. Let's say those are $200 a piece. That's two, four, six. So that's $2,200. Plus you got to fly. Let's say that's $400. So it costs $3,000. If you get agents that can invest $3,000 in themselves, go away from their family, friends, and business for three or more days in a location, those are top tier agents more than likely. Because not many agents can do that. So you have to think about, you, know, you want to think about the fact that if I go to this place, these people can afford to do this and they can be here. Imagine the value you'll get from that. That's the caliber of individual that you're working with versus, oh, yes, yeah, a free event. Like the builder puts on a free event. Oh, it's a free event, free food. I'm just going to come out there and get the free stuff and leave. Totally different type of agent. So you're dealing with agents that can afford to travel. You're dealing with top tier agents that are, in their businesses, they're doing well. Those are the folks you'll be networking and sharing with and learning from and being around. And if that's your thing, you know, if you want to be successful, you want to emulate success, you want to be around success. And that's a way you can do that because it's not just a, it's not a free event. It's a paid event where you have to actually 
go there and do. Um, the other thing, and I'll talk more about this later, and it'll probably be after I get back, but this might be a little stretch for some. Fly first class. When you fly first class, again, same concept. These people, number one, can afford first class tickets, but number two, it's a different experience, and you never know who you're sitting next to because the person you're sitting next to might be somebody that can buy some real estate from you. Or it might be somebody that can connect you with somebody that can buy real estate with you or help out. Anytime I flew in first class, um, I'm sitting next to somebody where I'm we're talking the whole time. We're sharing. And I don't I'm not the hey, how you doing type person on the plane. I'm a look, I ain't got time to talk to you. I'm wanna go to sleep. Um typically what I do. But now I've got a new strategy. I'll talk about that later, but I'll talk about it afterwards because I want to let you know what happened between Vegas and back here. Um before I mention that. But anyway, definitely hit events up. Um, I will be dropping some knowledge and bombs from whatever I learn out there. I'll be doing live streams daily. Uh, probably do some stories in between uh, just to kind of report on that. But if you haven't bought your ticket yet to Inman in Vegas, it's Inman Connect. There's Luxury Connect is first and then there's Inman Connect. Luxury Connect is luxury agents. Talking about luxury real estate. And strategies and tactics now. Inman Connect is just general real estate. I'll be attending both, but uh highly encourage you to go out there. And if you're out there, message me, DM me, and let's chat. Also, if you're looking to attract new construction buyers, head on over to theiconicagent.com. We've got a full training. We'll be back on our webinar flow in not next Wednesday, but the following Wednesday. And we'll give you the game. 